Let us dream of tomorrow where we can truly love from the soul and know love as the ultimate truth at the heart of all creation. You know, let's put it this way, if all the people in Hollywood who have had plastic surgery, if they went on vacation, there wouldn't be a person left in town. I'm a black American. I am proud of my race. I am proud of who I am. I have a lot of pride and dignity. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be who I am. Yes, and I had pimples so badly it used to make me so shy. I used not to look at myself. I'd hide my face in the dark. I wouldn't want to look in the mirror. And my father teased me. And I just hated it. And I cried every day. Elizabeth Taylor is gorgeous, beautiful, and she still is today. I'm crazy about her. But I will never stop helping and loving people the way Jesus said to. It's a complete lie. Why do people buy these papers? It's not the truth I'm here to say. You know, don't judge a person. Do not pass judgment unless you have talked to them one-on-one. -on -one. I don't care what the story is. Do not judge them because it is a lie. Because I wanted to have a place that I could create everything that I that I never had as a child. So you see rides. You see animals. There's a movie theater. My mother's wonderful. To me, she's perfection. Yeah. Wacko Jacko. Where did that come from? Some English tabloid. I have a heart and I have feelings. I feel that when you do that to me, it's not nice. I have a skin disorder that destroys the pigmentation of my skin. It's something that I cannot help, okay? But when people make up stories that I don't want to be what I am, it hurts me. If you enter this world knowing you are loved and you leave this world knowing the same, then everything that happens in between can be dealt. Because I think every child star suffers through this period because you're not the cute and charming child that you were. You start to grow, and they want to keep you little forever. I'd slit my wrists rather than hurt a child. I could never do that. No one will ever know how much these wicked rumors have hurt me. They used to call me a 45-year-old midget wherever I went. I wrote a song called Dirty Diana. It was not about Lady Diana. It was about a certain kind of girls that hang around concerts or clubs. You know, they call them groupies. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. I said, don't mind, but what do you mean I am the one who will dance on the floor and the round? Everything that I love is behind those gates. We have elephants and giraffes and crocodiles and every kind of tigers and lions. And, and we have bus loads of kids who don't get to see those things. They come up sick children and enjoy it.
Everyone who knows me will know the truth, which is that my children come first in my life, and that I would never harm any child. I was a veteran before I was a teenager. Please keep an open mind and let me have my day in court. I will say again that I have never and would never harm a child. It sickens me that people have written untrue things about me. I love my family very much. I wish I could see them a little more often than I do. But we understand because we're a show business family and we all work. I've helped many, many, many children, thousands of children, cancer kids, leukemia kids, 